The Spanish government is planning a high-speed train between Barcelona and Madrid. The train would cut travel time in half. That sounds like a popular idea, but the train's path is not so popular. The plan is to build the tunnel just a few feet from the foundations of a Barcelona landmark, the Sagrada Familia. The towering church was designed by the famed architect Antoni Gaudí. Many fear the train would damage Gaudí's unfinished masterpiece. The world's Jerry Haddon reports. The Sagrada Familia Church is a fantastical structure. It's supported by huge, curved stone columns that swing up from the ground like the roots of a giant tree. Construction began in 1883 and it continues to this day. Gaudí reportedly once joked that his client, God, was in no hurry. Still, many Barcelona residents worry that it will be destroyed before it's ever completed. 83-year-old Antonio Imeri has lived his whole life across the street from the church. Imeri is among the thousands of neighbors trying to stop the construction of a tunnel within six feet of the temple's foundations. He says, it seems to me a great danger to have a train pass through here because it goes about 200 miles per hour. And I just don't know how it's going to affect the foundations of the church. But that's a question for the architects. The Sagrada Familia's current chief architect shares Imeri's concern. On a recent afternoon, Jordi Bonnet sits on a bench in the shadow of the temple's towers. He studies photos of the intricately inlaid vaulted ceiling. He says it could be damaged by the vibrations of the bullet trains scheduled to zoom by here. This is ceramic and this is uh, venetian glass. One crack for the foundations, immediately it is possible that this goes to the people. Falls down. Yes. We say this is not good for a town. For two years now, thousands of residents have been staging protests to get the tunnel redirected. They've been largely ignored until recently. This Sunday, Spain holds municipal elections. Suddenly, nearly every political party has made saving the church part of its platform, even the party that originally approved the current tunnel route. But locals aren't buying it. No, no, no. Do you trust politicians, asks one protest leader. No, responds a group on a street corner. These neighbors point to recent construction disasters in Barcelona. Two years ago, an entire city block came crashing down when a subway tunnel under construction beneath it collapsed. And the new tunnel that will pass by the Sagrada Familia is apparently already cracking buildings as it inches towards Barcelona. Some 10 miles from the Sagrada Familia, Diggers move mountains of earth churned up by a giant tunneling machine. Next to the site is a row of modest houses. Rosario Maral lives in one of them. She says, you can see here, there are four or five houses that have been severely affected. Look at the facades, she says, they're cracked wide open. Inside it's even worse. The tunnel has caused this mess we're in. Just then, an architect from the tunnel company, Adif, shows up to inspect the houses. The company has conceded that the tunnel probably caused the damage. Still, Maral and the architect get into a fight over compensation. This is the nightmare scenario the Sagrada Familia neighbors are fighting to prevent. The construction company did not respond to interview requests, nor did regional or local government officials backing the plan. In the past, government officials have said this route is the least risky because it wouldn't require tunneling directly under houses. But for the Sagrada Familia architect, Jordi Bonnet, much more is at stake than individual homes. He points out that the Sagrada Familia is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There is a plan to sink a steel and concrete barrier in the wet ground between the church and the tunnel, but Bonnet and other architects dismiss it. A little crack of the concrete, the water arrives to the, to the steel, and then this is finished. The Sagrada Familia uh, is not a uh, building for 100 years, it is for 1,000 years. Bonnet points out that the Sagrada Familia's creator, Antoni Gaudí, was struck and killed by a train himself while walking to the site in 1926. He says it would be a bitter irony for another train to destroy his legacy so many years later. For The World, I'm Jerry Haddon in Barcelona.